Welcome again to the Slice Fox video newsletter. Last time we talked about how to package your product or service and I gave you a really good example of an entrepreneur who used that concept in Australia. Where they used the Sydney Harbor Bridge to start a new business. What they did is allow customers to climb the bridge, which is actually turned into one of Australia's top tourist attractions. They uniquely packaged the climb experience with a beautiful view. I have a couple more examples of Australian businesses that really use their creativity. They took the available resources that they already had, some of them not so obvious, and learned how to really apply them effectively. After landing in Sydney, we hopped on another plane and flew north for about four hours to Cairns. Then we drove for about an hour north of there to Port Douglas. And Port Douglas has these beautiful beaches. Uh, they're really, really remote and pristine. And, very uncrowded. Uh, th this crowd you see here is probably the biggest crowd we saw the entire week we were there. So we arrived at our hotel about 9.30 in the morning and we asked the uh, hotel concierge, you know, what's some of the more popular things that people do here? And they said, well, you have to try the breakfast with the birds. And we said, the what? She said, the breakfast with the birds. She said, yeah, it's really popular with a lot of tourists. So we went on the website and looked at the rainforest habitat, which is uh, the place that offers this breakfast with the birds. And that sounded different, so what the heck, we went and tried it. Yeah, I know, it sounds kind of weird, but it was actually pretty cool. Essentially, they had a breakfast buffet in an outdoor setting with uh, a canopy over the eating area, but all these different species of birds were allowed to walk around on the ground underneath the picnic tables and sometimes on the tables, and uh, it was just kind of neat to get up close and personal with them. And then after you're done eating, you got to wander around the rest of the habitat and you got to pet some of the kangaroos and uh, feed the kangaroos. And obviously this guy was hanging around the food bin way too much. Now, you know when these guys first came up with the idea of eating outdoors with all these birds, everyone was probably trying to figure out how do we keep the birds away from the food? I mean, we can't have birds flying overhead and doing you know what to people's food and that kind of thing. So what they did is they say, well, how cool would it make this work? And that's always a question you ought to ask yourself. What would it take to make this work? So they built a canopy and they designed it such that most of the bird species actually can't fly underneath the canopy. So the majority of them can just walk around. Now think about that as trying to keep the birds away from the food, they turn that around, turn lemons into lemonade, and use it as a key feature in selling their product. So they took the available resources that they already had and applied them much more effectively. We know when somebody comes up with a unique concept like that, there's of course going to be copycats. And sure enough, down the road we saw later on was a new establishment that had breakfast with the koalas. So here's another great example of how to use your available resources. Now we had this rainforest um, safari always on our itinerary, so we were planning to do this all along. And what we really liked about it is the way it was advertised was small groups only, that they never had more than four people. So what happens is uh, David Armburst comes and picks us up in a Jeep, and you quickly figure out it's his personal Jeep. <laughs> That's why there's small groups, because you can only fit four people in there. So there's me and my wife and uh, this genius boy kid, Michael, that's on this tour. So we hop in his Jeep, and we drive about 40 minutes up the, to the mountains into the rainforest and uh, get out of the jeep and sure enough here come you know kangaroos and wallabies and birds and everything come running up to uh, David and he has a pouch full of sweet potatoes and peanuts and he starts feeding all these animals and that kind of dawned on me is like well how do you have access to the rainforest he goes well this particular piece of it I own he goes basically it's this is my house okay so this guy basically takes his own jeep right he picks you up at the hotel, he takes you to his backyard, and uses all the available resources, stuff that you already own, to start a business. And I asked David, I go, so how often do you go out and feed the animals? He goes, well, I've been doing it every day for 20 years. I said, okay, so you're feeding them already, and somehow it just dawned on you is, why don't I have some people follow along with me and I can charge them 250 bucks a piece? And he just kind of got this smile on his face. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's booked about five days a week 
on this safari tour by using his available resources and applying them more efficiently and effectively. Well, yeah, then in the afternoon, uh, we go to a different part of the rainforest, and he has you hop out of the Jeep and says, uh, this is a good place for you guys to walk and just see the view, so I'll meet you down the road in about 20 minutes, which gives him just enough time to make you a really nice lunch. So then after lunch, you jump back in the Jeep and you leave the rainforest area and go to the more barren part of the land and look at some different species and landscapes and termites and lots of different animals. So look at all the available resources that you have in your business. And some of those resources might seem kind of invisible at first, so you may have to look for them a little harder than you think. But there's all kinds of resources that you have that you could use more effectively to market your product better or to provide a better product or service. Available resources, how can you best use them? Thanks again for joining me on the Slides of Fox video newsletter. Catch you next time.